If you visit certain countries in Africa, you might find yourself reluctant to return due to the unappealing environment. This often stems from a lack of investment in proper waste management by the governments of these nations. As you stroll through marketplaces, streets, or even major roads in the capital cities, the sight of littered surroundings filled with organic and inorganic waste can be quite shocking. While some governments seem indifferent, others are not only concerned but also taking decisive action to ensure both urban and rural areas are kept clean. One such leader making a significant impact in waste management is Captain Ibrahim Traoré, Africa's youngest president. Before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe to the African web and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Recently, President Traoré made a bold move by purchasing numerous vehicles and containers dedicated to waste management across Burkina Faso, including the capital city, Ouagadougou. What's remarkable is that this isn't the first time Trara's administration has made such an effort. This marks the second instance where his government has made substantial investments in waste management, this time acquiring even more vehicles, equipment and materials to ensure a cleaner environment for all. The first major investment in waste management in Burkina Faso took place in August 2023. On August 13, 2024, the Burkina Bay Ministry of Urban Planning reaffirmed its commitment to supporting the municipality of Ouagadougou. The Minister of Urban Planning and Housing, Yakuba Dai, led the official handover ceremony, presenting a collection of equipment to the municipality. This batch, valued at 230 million CFA francs, included dumpsters, loading shovels and dump trucks, and was received by Maurice Connett, the president of the special delegation of the municipality of Ouagadougou. During the ceremony, Connet emphasized the importance of this equipment in boosting the municipality's operational capacity, enabling it to more effectively address the challenges of sustainable waste management. He expressed gratitude for the ministry's crucial assistance in acquiring these waste management tools and highlighted the ongoing collaboration between the ministry and the municipality. This partnership aims to further advance the project and strengthen Ouagadougou's sanitation infrastructure. Minister Yakuba Dai stressed the importance of using the equipment responsibly and reaffirmed his department's commitment to coordinating and organizing operations across the city. Ibrahim Traoré's investment in waste management in Burkina Faso is truly praiseworthy and reflects his dedication to the nation's development. But waste management isn't the only area where Traoré has made a significant impact. He has also directed substantial resources toward the agricultural sector. Traoré's deep passion lies in seeing Burkina Faso achieve food self-sufficiency, a state where the country relies solely on its homegrown produce and not on imports. This vision is strongly influenced by Thomas Sankara, who, during his leadership, initiated bold programs aimed at making Burkina Faso self-sufficient in food production. Sankara championed land redistribution and promoted the cultivation of local staples like rice, maize, and millet. To him, consuming imported versions of these crops was a form of imperialism. Remarkably, Sankara's efforts bore fruit, and by 1987, Burkina Faso's cereal production had soared to 1.6 billion tons. This achievement led Jean Ziegler, then UN Special Rapporteur for the Right to Food, to proclaim, Thomas Sankara has conquered hunger. What's particularly notable is that Thomas Sankara accomplished this feat without any foreign assistance. In a similar vein, Captain Traoré has launched several agricultural initiatives to realize his vision of food self-sufficiency for Burkina Faso. Among his goals for 2024 is achieving food self-reliance, and in pursuit of this, his administration rolled out two major agricultural programs in 2023, the Operation Agropastoral Offensive, and the Presidential Initiative for Food Self-Sufficiency. In February 2024, Trare's administration launched a significant project backed by the African Development Bank to strengthen food security in response to the effects of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The initiative, known as the Emergency Project for Increasing Agricultural Production in Burkina Faso, was supported by a 38.4 million USD grant from the African Development Bank Group. This project aims to distribute nearly 9,000 tons of certified climate-resilient seeds to 330,000 farmers, helping to boost the production of essential crops such as maize, rice, soy, 
cowpeas, sorghum, and wheat. The program is expected to increase national rice production by 430,000 tons and maize production by 77,000 tons, along with improving yields of other crops. This initiative complements the Operation Agropastoral Offensive, launched the previous year. In March 2024, Traore allocated over 78 billion CFA francs worth of equipment and agricultural inputs to local producers, with the goal of enhancing Burkina Faso's agricultural productivity. This distribution of farm equipment is part of the government's broader strategy to promote food self-sufficiency and support the agro-pastoral and fishery sectors. Under Trare's leadership, the support for agro-silvo pastoral producers has significantly increased for 2024. President Trare emphasized the substantial increase in resources, stating, this year we are providing twice the amount of equipment compared to 2023 and more than five times the average quantity distributed in the past five years. Additionally, the allocation of chemical fertilizers will reach approximately 68,900 tons, more than double the amount distributed in 2023 and over five times the average of the past five years. The equipment provided includes 400 tractors, 239 tillers, and 710 motor pumps. Furthermore, 70,000 motorcycles were procured for agricultural agents tasked with assisting farmers. The government also supplied agricultural production inputs, including 10,000 tons of fish feed, 688,964 tons of fertilizers, 10,000 liters of phytosanitary products, 18,000 tons of plant seeds, 2,300 tons of fodder seeds, and 10,000 tons of concentrated feed. In March, President Trore made a significant contribution to the future of Burkina Faso's agricultural sector by donating a large tract of land to students interested in farming. This initiative aimed to empower these students by providing them with an opportunity to grow and sell crops, thereby generating income for themselves. Reports indicate that each student was allocated two hectares of land to cultivate. Later on, Trore visited the agricultural farm in Barra, located in the eastern central region of Burkina Faso, to monitor the progress of these student farmers. During his visit, he toured the farm, observing the various agricultural techniques and practices that the students were being taught and implementing. Trore expressed his enthusiasm for the students' dedication and commitment, praising their contributions to the country's agricultural sector. Beyond his focus on agriculture, President Trore has also poured resources into modernizing Burkina Faso's transport sector. He's brought in electric buses from China, known for their comfort and reliability, as part of his broader vision to elevate the country's infrastructure. Isn't it refreshing to see a leader who is genuinely committed to both safety and development? How many other African leaders are taking such meaningful steps forward? Sadly, in some countries we only hear about government funds being spent on luxury vehicles, presidential jets, or other indulgences that do little for the people. Shouldn't more African presidents follow in Captain Trore's footsteps? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below. And before you go, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the African web, and share it with your friends.